What's up, guys? Eric here, back again with another video about The Flash Season 9. Three days in a row, we are eating good this week, Flash fans, Arrowverse fans. We're getting so much news, so much uh, content leading up to the final season of The Flash and the end of the Arrowverse as we know it. So today's video, I'm not going to be on cam, but you get to hear my voice, and I think that's enough anyway. Um, all right, we've got two topics to cover in this video. The main topic here is obviously Stephen Amell returning to The Flash Season 9, and then another story that we did not talk about in yesterday's video, and I'm going to talk about that at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that story because it's kind of exciting as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, this is from the Flash podcast. I spoke with Andy. He sent this over to me, and I was super excited. So we're going to be using their blog, and I will link it in the info box below. It says, Stephen Amell officially set to appear in the Flash Season 9. And here we go. It says... You've been asking for it and you're finally getting it. The CW and Warner Brothers TV announced today that Arrow star Stephen Amell is officially set to appear in The Flash Season 9 as Oliver Queen. Now, that's a pretty cool distinction. They say Oliver Queen. They don't say the Spectre. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Uh, Mel will join his fellow Arrowverse stars, Keenan Lonsdale, Kid Flash. We talked about this yesterday. David Ramsey as John Diggle and Sinhil Rama Murthy as Bloodwork in episode nine, which will be directed by The Flash's own Danielle Panabaker. So it really is a family affair, um, which is exciting. If you're a fan of Danielle and you're a fan of all of these actors and these characters, it seems like episode nine is going to be the episode that you want to keep an eye out for in the final season of The Flash. And it says here, this will mark Amel's first appearance in the franchise ever since Arrow Season 8 and Crisis on Infinite Earths. Showrunner Eric Wallace said the following about Amel's Arrowverse return, which was teased in the Arrowverse tie-in comic book, Earth Prime. As soon as, I, uh, as soon as our final season was announced, we knew we wanted Steven to come back and reprise his iconic role as Oliver Queen. After all, it was Oliver who originally launched Barry Allen on his heroic path. That's why everyone on Team Flash felt so strongly it was important to create a full circle moment with Oliver's return in the final season of The Flash. The result is this epic yet emotional episode we hope Arrowverse fans will enjoy. It's all to say thank you to everyone for watching and supporting our show throughout nine wonderful years. We absolutely cannot wait for everyone to see Grant and Steven saving the world together again. And yes, there will be thrills, chills, and tears. So I said here before that they use Oliver Queen, they don't say Spectre, and I think that's significant. The reason why is we don't know the context of the return of these characters, and we may get an article tomorrow telling us, but let's speculate a little bit. Not necessarily my favorite thing to do, but let's do this, all right? So we know we're getting blood work, we know we're getting Ken Flash, and now we know we're getting Oliver Queen. Now, they didn't specify Spectre, they also didn't specify Green Arrow. What if this is a time travel episode? What if this is an episode where Barry Allen is going around to different points in time? That would allow them to use Kid Flash with his old suit instead of giving a new one to him because I know a lot of people want to see a new suit and it makes sense that he would have a new suit. Um, but this would be a way for them to do it without giving him a new suit. Now, I don't know if people would like that or not, but that's the case. Also, Oliver Queen, time travel. Uh, we could do something, you know, within the last two or three seasons of Arrow uh, to, to have him and Diggle there as well. Uh, and blood work could also be a time travel thing. This could all be a time travel thing. This could all be about, you know, him traveling through different points in time for some specific reason. Uh, because it's the last season and time travel, you know, that messes things up. Who cares? It's, it's the final season. We won't have to deal with the ramifications of time travel, uh, you know, at the end here. So I'm not sure of the context, but this does sound very exciting to me. Uh, I would be lying if I said, I didn't expect Oliver Queen to come back in the final season. Uh, most of the live streams, we get this question asked, and it is often said that, you know, it would be, you know, very weird if he didn't make an appearance. Uh, and I've kind of fluctuated a little bit back and forth on whether or not I thought he was actually going to do it, even if I wanted him to do it or that I felt like he should do it. Uh, so to get confirmation that he is coming back is pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, it makes my mind go crazy thinking about what it could possibly be that he is doing uh, in this episode. So it's time for you to speculate. So with this news now, what do you think? Do you think that Oliver Queen will be a time travel uh, version variant of himself? Will this be Spectre coming back to face off against some huge threat? It is episode nine, so it's toward the end of the season. That could be the case. 
Um, what do you think about all these other characters teaming up? Give me your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Before we move on to the next article, I just want to remind you guys that I look at my analytics and it tells me that a lot of my views are coming from people who are not subscribed to the channel. Now, if you're watching this video, it's your second, third, fourth time back to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and become part of the Ericverse. It does add to the community, it helps the algorithm, and it helps the channel grow. Um, I would really appreciate it. I know you don't want to clutter up your news feed, but if you're enjoying this content and you have to search for my videos every single time you look for them, just go ahead and subscribe. I, I promise you'll enjoy it. You'll have a good time, and you'll get access to my live streams, which you do every single weekend. So there's that. Leave a like and leave a comment below and give me your thoughts and opinions. All right, next bit of news we're going to talk about is tied to Superman and Lois. Now, this came out, and I was like, should I make a separate video for this? But this seems like the perfect opportunity to discuss this little blurb of news uh, about Lex Luthor because, uh, you know, we're getting close to these season premieres. Why not? So it says, why Arrowverse is Lex Luthor actor is not returning for Superman and Lois? And it says, despite carrying the role for nearly five years, Arrowverse's Lex Luthor actor John Cryer explains why he won't be returning for Superman and Lois season three. The two and a half men alum made his Arrowverse debut as the iconic DC villain in Supergirl season four, initially imprisoned after several fights with Tyler Hecklin Superman, but eventually escapes after Supergirl and Superman foil his plans to assassinate his half-sister Lena. Despite initially dying at the hands of his sister, Lex would be revived by the Anti-Monitor during the Crisis on Infinite Earths event, which would end with the world viewing him as a good guy only for his plans to try and destroy the Fortress of Solitude and working on with his mother Lillian to eventually result in his demise. That's kind of a quick backstory on John Cryer's Lex. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's I have to give him credit for doing that. Because as time draws near for the show's return, fans took to Twitter to discuss a recent report claiming that Lex Luthor would be coming to Superman and Lois Season 3, expressing their hopes to see Arrow versus John Cryer return to the part the supergirl actor instead revealed that he wouldn't be reprising his role as the iconic dc villain citing both a scheduling conflict and a change in creative direction for the character let's see what crier said below and it goes on here after someone asked about uh seeing lex luther in superman and lois and it being john crier he goes it would have been fun but i'm not sure i could have played lex on superman and lois even if they wanted to do this i'm supposed to start shooting a new series for nbc in february which is like literally right around the corner he goes on to say and for the record, the folks at DC were very cool and gave me a heads up. The show was going in a different way with the character before they started looking. Most of the time, actors learn about the stuff when it comes out in the trades. I'm grateful they were classy about it. But I do reserve the right to have Bitsy Tillich play pranks on the new guy and send me the video. So there you go. Uh, John Cryer confirming that Lex, even coming back to the show, will not be his Lex. And uh, he seems to be okay with it. There's no bad blood between him and the studio. And uh, that's good to know. You know, we don't ever want to hear about drama behind the scenes. So it's good to hear that this wasn't a dramatic thing and that he actually knew about it ahead of time. So we're getting Alex, but it's not going to be John Cryer. All right. So leave your thoughts and opinions about that down in the info box. Right, down in the info box. Leave in the comments below, not the info box. That's where I leave stuff. And I'll be leaving links to both of these articles for you so you can go and check them out yourself if you want to read them again on your own time at your own leisure so again Stephen amell uh green arrow slash specter coming back to the flash season nine and an episode nine directed by danielle panabaker along with keenan lonsdale uh kid flash we have diggle and we have blood work all coming back in that episode we have lex returning in superman and lois but it's not going to be john crier so sorry to hear that Really enjoyed his legs for the most part on Supergirl, but I understand they're going in a different direction. All right, you see the stuff scrolling at the bottom? Do all of those things. And thank you so much for taking time to check out my video and uh, supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. And we will see everyone Saturday here on YouTube for the after party. Uh, but if you want to join me on twitch.tv slash Loaded, I will be live tomorrow night on twitch.tv to talk about some news and some other stuff uh, leading into the weekend. All right. See everyone later. Have a great day and uh, talk soon. Bye.